Hey yeah, folks, Tivik here and welcome back to Terraria. I have been making myself the Fiery Greatsword. Yay! Awesome, isn't it? And of course the Molten Hammer, and I've also made the Molten Pickaxe, but I don't think it's fast enough. I mean, let's uh, test it out. Uh, if I go to here, if I take this one, it's like... Tap, tap, tap. Sure, that's alright, I suppose, but if you look at this. And then I take the Nightmare Pickaxe, it's a lot faster. However, this one takes two on that one, on the um, stone blocks. But this one is much faster on the stronger blocks. So this one is an option when I get down to lower levels and I have a lot of stone to dig. And uh, it's, yeah, that's where I'm gonna have to use it. Um, it also works on most uh, ores and digs uh, fairly quick actually. And I think I will need this one to, uh, it's 100% pickaxe and this is just 65 so yeah, I'm probably going to need it when I get to the upper levels. Um, I also made, of course, the Molten Set. But I also wanted to show you this. I've been expanding my town. Please ignore the empty rooms, they are being decorated. But uh, over here we have... Uh, um, this is the uh, arms dealer's home and this is the merchant's home. And I'm pretty happy with this, how it turned out. I got the Goblin Tinkerer here, and uh, of course uh, we have um, the mechanic here, like this, oh yeah. So this episode I want to tell you a few things that I've been doing. I got this Fiery Greatsword, but clicking like this all the time is annoying, it's very annoying, and it takes uh, a lot of clicking when you start fighting mobs with this one. However, I have made a script with auto hotkey. I will show you this uh, script later. I will have a dedicated uh, episode for just the script part. Um, but if I now hold in my special button on the mouse, which is uh, normally like next in a web browser or previous, it will swing repeatedly. It is brilliant. Same goes with the chakram. If I just hold down, I will swing. So if I swing like this, it will keep swinging. It's very good. It's uh, uh, it saves a lot of clicking. It saves the mouse. Saves my hand. Just have to be careful when I'm in ba my base, though. I've also added a few special hotkeys. Um, let me show you one. Let's pick up these tin bricks. Do I have an empty chest? This one, yes. If I hover over this one and hit Control F, it will fill the chest with bricks. Pretty neat. I can also tell it to just fill the first row, second row, third, and so forth. Very useful. And then the quick stack button I've uh, made a macro for so that if I have a chest open and hit C, plop, it quick stacks. It's very useful, and that also saved a lot of clicks, especially since I like to do this in my chest. Let me show you. Like this. So I have my ores and stuff uh, spread out like this, so when uh, I go and quick stack, it will only stack that particular item, and it will do it until the chest is full. So now I can just move around and click C as I move. Should be noted that mouse input is disabled, so I shouldn't be able to... Nope, it will automatically go back to where I am. That's very good. Very useful, very simple to make uh, in hot auto hotkey. It's just a few things you have to set up. Um, I will probably paste bin that at some point. Um, I'll show you the code and everything at some point. Right, so in this episode, I think it's time to aim for hard mode. Oh yeah. Uh, I have silver bullets and I'm ready to kill the wall of flesh. I do need to do a few things first though. 
So, why don't I do that first? Mm, I do need to, in this area that I cut out around my base, I will need to... Um, I will need to fill this in with bricks. I really don't need to, but I prefer to. It makes it look a lot better. And uh, we'll use, just use normal grey brick. Um, I should have enough. Maybe not. We'll see. But let me do that. Uh, I might have to go and dig for quite a bit, so uh, yeah. I will see you guys in a few moments. Yeah, so I think we are pretty much ready to kill the ugly creature. I don't need that one and that one and that one up in my toolbar. But it's gonna be a long way down. And I have more in that in case I need it. Oh, just some uh, thoughts. Um, I didn't fill out everything with bricks, I just made it bigger, so it's now actually six wide on each, so just to be sure. I'm also going to reposition my elevator later, but that's only when I have everything ready. Now, this is a bit of a fall. Um, also, I have built a very long stage slash arena for the fight with the Wall of Flesh. It's not perfect, it's got a few of these low parts, but I should be fine. So, I'm just falling down now. This is what we're gonna be using, a lot of. I also got myself some healing potions and flares, so I can... Oh, that's lag. So I can shoot it with this if I need to. So I got about 3,000 silver bullets. Should be fine. Okay, saved by the cobweb. So, this is gonna be the tricky part. Now I have about a uh, half mile to run. Something. <laughs> and it's gonna take a little bit of time, so I'm gonna cut video here, and once I get there, I will make sure that my health is full, and then we'll get started. So, see you once I'm at the end. I am at the end of the run. And um, we're getting a bit of mobs here. Just want to kill these few. And we're gonna get started. You ready? Here we go. Aw, come on. Here we go. Goodbye, Kyle. Okay, I better get shooting. And we're gonna take a while. I'm gonna make sure we do slay these ones though. If I can. The hungry guys. Plenty of time. The crappy thing is that the health ones are, oh, are, um, far away with the hearts to drop. Just kill off these hungry. Make sure you don't have so many of them to fight. Some health potions. Not too close. He's at half health. We should be good. I didn't actually buff up for this. But that's alright. Have health about now, and uh, map-wise, we should have. Oh, you have you died already? Hello, Jeff. Come. On. But plenty of ammo. Oh, we 
we're gonna do good. Likewise, we have a lot of space to go. Two seconds until I can take a potion, which I will do. I'm starting to go a bit faster here, which is something we're gonna have to be careful about. Some extra health on these birds. That's good. going on in the world right now. Uh, we have quite a lot of lag. So I got the sorcerer emblem, uh, the pwn hammer, some demonite bricks, um, that one I should use. Okay, um, the pwn hammer. Oh yeah, um, hard mode starts now. Um, there will be a lot of mobs now. Let's go back up and assess the situation. So, I would guess that the corruption and hallow will go something like that. So we're gonna go flying. Um, the sorcerer emblem is just more damage as an emblem. Mm, we'll be fine. So, this part has been... has not been tainted yet. But some part here will have been. Oh, and if you hear some crackling noise in the background, uh, some loud bangs and stuff, it's uh, my fireplace. Oh yeah. Okay, so this area is looking good. Not corrupted yet. We're in the jungle and it's not corrupted yet. I'm not very curious about the jungle yet. Um, okay, that's a derpling. It's big, it hurts. And it's got a few silver for me. Okay. Okay, so this is the normal corruption. Um, I'm not gonna go further that way, because that's far away from my base. Um, let me mirror back home. Where is the new guide, by the way? Jeff. Which room did I give you before? That was your room. So, we got a squirrel infestation. That's no problem. Hmm. So, did nothing happen to our world? Really? I'm pretty sure there should be at least some changes. According to the lag we had, a lot should have changed. Okay, so the pun hammer can destroy demon altars. Wow. Gonna have to do that. So I'm gonna go to the corruption on this side here, which is like there, and go destroy some uh, demon altars with that one. Oh, here we go. This was not corruption before. So this side here has been corrupted. 
I have some corrupted desert here. And we have world feeders already. Nice. Right? Hmm. Come here. Oh, I got cursed flames. Nice already. That's very good. We're gonna need those. Oh, slippery. Um. Yeah, we might as well drop down here. Yep. Demon altars. Hello. My world has been blessed with cobalt, and I think it actually spawned here. Oh, rates. Oh, very nice. We have cobalt already. Cobalt will be very good to have. Um, I don't know if they changed the way it spawns, because I think that's a lot more than I usually see in hard mode. Um... I'm going to break two more. Auricalcum, okay. And Adamantite. Oh, we might as well destroy some more. I don't need these. Just to get as much as possible in our world. Oh, for each one of a wraith. Okay, hmm. That means I will have a lot of wraiths now. Too much gold on me to die, so I have to be careful. How much health do you have? 160. Hmm, should be noted that I cannot drink health potions while I'm using my macro for this. <laughs> Good to know. Oh, crud. Why? Why did I do that? Alright, so, I'll be back in one moment. Right, I'm back, and I am actually out of time on this episode, and uh, I'm going to keep destroying a few more demon altars. It's pretty fast to dig out Devon Stone. Two hits. But, yeah. Oh, what was that? Which one was that? The toxic sludge. Oh, they're nasty. Um, yeah, so I am gonna have to see you guys in the next episode. Um, I'll try to get enough cobalt so we can start off with some... Uh, we'll see. I might start adventuring with you guys. Because there are new enemies and new stuff to see. So, yeah. Hard mode, guys. Oh, yeah. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>